Ohio State got a 90-78 win over Iowa in the second round of the Big Ten tournament. Let's take a look at some of the film on how they did it. So Ohio State ended shooting 11 from 20 from 3, but they started 8 for 11 in the first half, and that was really the big reason why they were able to hold a lead at halftime. So we're going to go through a few of the plays, how they were able to get these looks. So Thorne's going to have the ball, going to have this initial screen here, more of a decoy just to try to set up the action, also get this switch of Perkins off of uh, Thorne and onto Gale. So now as they set up this empty side pick and roll, now he's going to have a little bit of favorable matchup with Dix and, and Dembele. So Dembele is, at the, Dembele is at the level here. You can see he's up pretty high. That is meaning that whoever is going to be low man is going to have to rotate over and kind of help on the tag here. The other thing to look at this, and it's just a really smart play from Devin Royal, who's been playing great lately, is he's going to just kind of dive in a little bit and then watch him. Watch him as, as right here. So I'm going to rewind a little bit. Sanford is, is the one on him. McCaffrey's on Middleton in the corner. Middleton. Uh, McCaffrey's rotated way over, right, because Middleton's weak side corner. But now with Royal diving, it is now Sanford's responsibility to probably have to help here. McCaffrey, in some capacity, especially as Middleton starts to lift, he needs to be able to step up just a little bit, and he doesn't. And so now you're going to see Devin Royal just set a screen, set a pin and screen. He knows what's going to happen there. He knows that there's no Iowa defender at all in this area. And so now Middleton gets a wide open three. So on this play right here, um, Iowa was kind of in a press and, and now they're trying to morph back into zone with the press though You're gonna see a little bit of just some cross matching um, If possible right here Dembele so Dembele is on Middleton and, and Dix is on Royal if possible They probably should have tried to scram switch this where you just kind of switch back out so you get better matchups uh, I, I think Dix might be calling for it a little bit It doesn't happen and so now as Ohio State resets those are the matchups So now Thorne's just gonna go one-on-one -on -one. He's going to take Harding. He likes the matchup, so he's going to try to go at him. And you're going to see Dembele real, really peel in here and really show a lot of help towards the nail. The only issue with that is he's going to have nobody else to help on the perimeter, and you just, you just can't really help off of a shooter like this, and especially that far in. Um, you got to trust your, your guys down low, some sort of interior defense. It doesn't happen. Now it's a really easy kick out for Middleton. In this play early in the second half, Iowa is kind of in the 2-3 zone, um, or, or they're starting, and then they, they'll sometimes morph back into more of a man. And so that's what's kind of happening here. Really good job by, by Gale to get in the center of the lane, really just attack the middle and force from there. Um, Iowa does a pretty good job of, of preventing an easy score and also an easy kickout from it, though. And so now, as the ball gets kicked out, Iowa's kind of pointing, trying to figure out where they want to go. Off of this drive, you're going to see Dix is going to help on battle here. Perkins, he's going to help Mahaffey, and now as Gale kind of relocates, this is where that, that zone kind of happens, is now they're, you know, I, th I think Cricky's trying to kind of just figure out where the matchups need to be, um, and he's trying to not be on the perimeter if possible, so that means you see Dix here, right, he's pointing at battle, saying for somebody to rotate over, the only issue is it's two Iowa bigs that are going to be the guys to do it, neither of them are really probably used to that, so now battle gets a wide open three. Next play that we're going to look at. Um, Iowa is going to be, this is more definitely of a 2-3 of a type zone, what they start out in. And you're going to see Akpar here screen the first top guy, and then Mahaffey is going to come up and screen the other top guy. And what that's going to force to, to happen is with Harding not getting fully, um, you know, not being fully connected and just the screen being there, Cricky is going to kind of step in a little bit. And, and help in the paints and similar to Dembele earlier what that's going to do is just that's going to leave the shooter open one pass away and so even though Cricky starts to get back because Harding is there it's still just going to be a little bit too late for for him to really be able to contest the shot and battle gets and drills another three. Iowa's offense was also pretty good and they just kind of ran out of gas the last few minutes of the game and they really thrived in pick and roll especially and it wasn't always just that the ball handler was going to score but they created a lot of opportunities for other players with assist off of pick and roll action so look at one here um, Sanford gets battled to switch onto Perkins which is a much better matchup than, than Gale you're gonna see Cricky set a back screen um, nothing really happening there and now Cricky's just going to kind of clear out, and this is going to all set up an empty side of pick and roll, right? Nobody in this corner over here. And so as this happens, you're going to see two on the ball, kind of them of here with Akpara stepping up, Battle staying on the ball. Akpara's going to eventually try to drop back, um, and, and Battle really never gets back fully in front right here. And so now Perkins is able to, to get this baseline um, and, and kind of just make this, this rotation right here. He's going to force Akpara to have to step up, 
And now it's just a really good pass from Perkins also right there. As this happens, Mahaffey is kind of trying to stay um, – Cut off this pass to Cricky right here. Perkins reads that, so now he has this drop off to Freeman, who just finishes over the top of bat. Next play here, and you're going to see Harding with the ball. I was sort of in like a horns type look, um, and they're honestly pretty confused what's going on as they set it up. But eventually, a ball screen is going to happen up at the top with Freeman. Cricky here is going to kind of peel out to the top um, and replace the role. Freeman is going to dive. Harding is going to, you know, get kind of jump stop here, the 15 foot line, but he is going to make Mahaffey step up. And so now as this happens, all Harding is doing is he's going to read key. If key's going to kind of just almost just a little bump on Freeman and let him slip. And as key goes out to the top, he's going to know he has Freeman. If not, he's probably going to kick it out to Kirky and keep the offense moving. You're going to see there Freeman does a great job getting this inside positioning on, on a uh, key right here. And this is just a great pass from Harding. He's going to lead Freeman, wrap around pass, lead him to the rim, and now Freeman can finish. So this next one, you're going to see Sanford set the screen, get the switch, um, they're, they're, you know, get Bonner off, and then another screen happens. Now, as we rewind, um, Middleton's going to reach right here, right? He's going to reach for the ball, and it's going to it, – it's a gamble, and that's just what it is, right? But – it is going to eventually cost him because after he just opens up his hips completely. And so even with Dembele trying to kind of flip this screen, Perkins now has just a wide path to go. And now he's just going to go one-on-one -on -one with Akpara. Now, Akpara is, you know, probably the third best rim protector in the Big Ten right now. Um, so this is no easy task, but Perkins right there. Great job initiating the contact first with these, like, under not... Perkins isn't an undersized guard, but compared to Akpara when going up against a big where you're kind of undersized, like creating that initial contact there and being the one that's in control of that, that contact is pretty big because now he's going to be able just to create a little bit of separation from it. Akpara goes straight up, and so now Perkins is going to be able to get it to go. Ohio State has been playing with much more tempo as of late, both in the half court and in transition, and this one was definitely no different. So Perkins gets the pull-up, air ball, and... This is a play where probably, a, you know, a month or two ago, Ohio State's going to walk this up and, and run something, right? There's no, like, clear advantage, but you're going to see Gale. Gale knows that really nobody's going to be down there. And so what he does is he just keeps driving, and he's going to keep going until somebody cuts him off. If Perkins is able to get kind of force him lateral here, then maybe Ohio State pulls out and, and goes into a half-court offense. But nobody gets in front of Gale. Sanford's just going to kind of swipe in, not leaving battle. Dix is going to be late getting there, and so now Gale just gets all the way to the rim for an easy layup in transition. So on this play, another Iowa miss, and this time, you know, Ohio State maybe isn't like full on sprinting everywhere. It's not like they're 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 getting the ball up in in one two seconds every time, but they're just kind of being um, opportunistic. And so when it's there, they're going to run, they're going to take their chances. And so this one is is just. Like, I think Thorne kind of knows this entire time he has Middleton. He's just reading Perkins. Um, and with Royal being the one kind of rim running, that's going to drag Perkins in just enough where he knows, Thorne knows right here that Perkins back turned to Middleton. He's focused on Royal. He's going to have Middleton in rhythm for another high arcing three. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and click here to see how Michigan State beat Minnesota.